Audio loudspeakers are traditionally one of two types, acoustic suspension, or sealed box, and bass reflex, or ported. Acoustic suspension speakers use the pressure inside the sealed box to form a spring to cushion the motion of the speaker cone. This limits the motion of the cone and affects how much bass the speaker can produce. Bass reflex enclosures use a port to relieve the energy inside the box. This port effectively tunes the enclosure to a cutoff frequency to limit cone movement, but extending the base down to that point. If the port is not of sufficient size, it can actually distort the sound and cause the boxy or breathy sound many people complain about. The third type of speaker, the transmission line speaker, delays the sound being produced by the rear face of the cone, which is opposite the wave being produced on the front of the cone. This would tend to cancel the energy of this wave if the two met. The advantage of the transmission line is that it delays the wave long enough so that it no longer cancels the front wave, but it reinforces it. The network inside the enclosure needs to be at least one quarter the wavelength of the cone at resonance. For a cone with very low resonance frequency, this network can be very long. Sooner or later, there's always math involved, so here it is. If the speed of sound is 1125 feet per second, and the cone resonant frequency, or FS, is 25 hertz, then you would divide the speed of sound by the frequency and then divide it again by four to get the quarter wavelength as shown in the formula below. This results in a very long network, 11 and a quarter feet or 135 inches. However, if this is done correctly, the bass is actually reinforced and will be twice as loud. This is the advantage of a well-designed transmission line speaker. The disadvantage is that if it is poorly designed, it can sound worse than a poorly designed bass reflex speaker. At Folks Audio, we have perfected the art and science of designing transmission line speakers. Through advanced CAD and cabinet making design, our low-end transmission tower takes advantage of price and materials to bring you a better loudspeaker. We only use quality hardwoods and never cheap and heavy medium density fiberboard or MDF. MDF is compressed sawdust. It is used by speaker builders because the cabinet is one of the most costly parts of a loudspeaker. MDF is also not very moisture resistant and will swell in the presence of water. MDF is also more difficult to brace and can make the difference between a rigid enclosure and one with coloration and distortion due to resonances. To get the speaker cabinets to the correct stiffness, the interior panels that crisscross the box create a rigidity that cannot otherwise be duplicated. The network that creates the transmission line also serves to make the walls of the cabinet feel as if they are made from one solid block of wood, the width of the cabinet. No other speaker design can create this amount of stiffness. That is what makes our design so unique. All of our joints are milled into the wood. That's another reason why we use real wood instead of MDF, which will not mill with the precision of real wood.